On the last episode of Xenosaga Episode 1, De Ville de Macht. Okay, set to transformation. Now it's time to end it. So, we are here. Someone's gonna take a hit, but we are here for now. Fighting Albedo. But with the new power, I would say. Uh, new power indeed. Uh, let me just heal up real fast. I know you've, I, I, I just want to say that I, I did technically beat Albedo without having to do this. So I don't feel bad. But... You ready? Okay. So I already know what the damage does. I haven't seen the cutscene. So let's see if this actually works. I'm curious to see if it will. So now all of our Gundam wings come together to bring us glory and justice and power. But yeah, this is a, this is a pretty epic move, I would say. It's actually a very good grinding tool. I, I made my way up to level 41 before to coming here, and that was super fast, like, no time at all. And, uh, well, you'll just see. You'll just see what it can do. It's the ultimate Gundam Wing. Now, I don't know who that is. I wish I knew, but... Eh, yeah, whatever. That is pretty epic. And then this is where the cut the cutscene usually ends and then the attack comes in. But there we go. Albedo has been one shot. Okay, let's go on. And in the cutscene he's gonna be perfectly fine, but hey, that that is literally all I had to do. We leveled up again. Um yeah. Now we have one more man to fight through. That is the final, final boss. And uh, all I have to do is get him to the point of uh, 9,999 HP, and we should be golden. This is going to be the difficult part, though, as uh, I need to make sure that I I don't lose too many people before I reach that threshold, but it shouldn't be too bad. So, yeah. We're going to save Xion um, to guard until she needs to heal. Uh, because then we'll be able to have the multi-party heals as much as we can. So yeah, let's see what we can do. There we go. Now hopefully he doesn't do his ultra attack right now, because that would really suck. But we should we should have this in the bag. I should one-shot these guys on the left and the right, hopefully. I mean, either way, I am going to one-shot them, so. But if he does do that move, I'm going to be very upset. Let us hope that he does not. Let us hope Shion goes up next. Okay. Okay, she's silenced, but... We win. I think. I hope. Come on. I'm not gonna show the entire cutscene again, but... Screw it, I've come to this point. I've done it. I don't really care at this point, I'm just like... Use up that boost. Everybody is dead. I beat the final boss with a Gundam, and I feel proud. Oh yeah. I don't even really care. <laughs> it was a it was a fun game, but this was a BS boss fight with the one shot kill moves. Gosh. Perhaps I could have grinded, but whatever. We'll be caught in the explosion. We have to get out of here quickly. Sucks that we didn't think of an escape plan, but... What was that rumbling? Uh... No. Yeah? It's faint, but it feels like we're changing directions. Xion, I have confirmation of ignition in the proto Macabas propulsion units. It is descending toward second Milsha now. Of course. There's no way Albedo was, in, was going to do anything but try to betray it, so. <clears throat> yep, 
Yep. You suck, Albedo. Well then, let's just see how powerful you all are. I have a Gundam wing, sir. I can beat you at anything. Any day of the week. I will win anything. Are you sure? Yes. Should its descent continue at present speed, it will enter the atmosphere in approximately eight minutes. Awesome. Like planned this from the very beginning. Well, duh. He's got too many tricks up his sleeve. We have to do something. If something as large as this impacts at full speed, second Milsha will be... Based on the current angle of approach, breaking up the facility into approximately 28,000 pieces would result in 99.6% of them vaporizing before impact. If we detach each subcompartment, just a second. I'll search through my memory banks. We have eight minutes, Momo. I believe in you. Come on. Come on. Control room. <laughs> the control room on level 33 will allow us to detach the facility. Hurry! There's no time! Do we have to actually run down there, or...? So I don't remember level 33. I only... Oh, we're already here. Never mind. Come on, Momo. My girl. You got this. Oh, no! Is there a problem? The entire process from system startup to complete detachment takes one whole minute! That's not enough time for us to return to the Elsa! Is this the only place we can activate it from? We can't do it remotely? No! Ziggy, don't you dare. The system was built so that the command will only be accepted from here. Damn. So the only way to stop this thing is to go down with it? This can't be. There has to be another way. There isn't! I've searched again and again, but we can only activate it from here! But we're wasting time. How is there not enough? Please whatever, whatever. Now. What, Cosmo? Oh. Shion, please return to the Elsa with the others. I will stay behind to initiate the detachment sequence. She has Wait the highest second. chance of surviving. Stay behind? This facility will enter the atmosphere shortly. We will exceed the tolerances for maximum temperature in 3 minutes 28 seconds. Please hurry. But... My self-preservation programming is functioning properly. I have no intention of remaining on this facility to the very end. Do not worry. At maximum speed, I can reach the Elsa in under one minute. Already. Sure. Yes. This option guarantees the highest probability of success. All right. Let's go, Shion. But trust her. It'll be okay. She'll catch up. We have to. We have no choice. <laughs> Gian. Fight for my friends. Apparently, Cosmos is in the new Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and I really want to play Cosmos. it now just because of that. You better make it back. You hear me? You better. Oh no, we have to run, don't we? Oh, never mind. Okay. Hey. Is this in full anime? I think this is full anime right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's not. Okay. That's surprising. It looked like it, but... She can survive in space, so... Why don't we just carry her instead? I mean, Ziggy could. Shaking. What the hell's going on? Proto Mercom is about to re enter the atmosphere. They've left a 
unchecked, it'll crash into the planet! What? We detached all the subcompartments, and that's what's causing the shaking. Anyway, we'll get to the details later. Prepare for immediate liftoff! Prepare? We're not lifting off right now? Cosmos is still inside! We gotta wait for her! Uh, wait a minute! If it's already detaching, then aren't we in danger? I'm aware of that! But if I say we wait, we wait! Yes, sir. Cosmos. I'm just waiting for light speed. Hurry back. Captain, up there! What? Ouch. Captain, we can't stay much longer. No kidding. Little master! Damn it. What's taking her? Come on, come on. Oh god, yeah, um... Well, I know that there are multiple games in this series. She can't die, not until the very end. Wait, is she on still outside? She's gonna hang on into the cockpit, ain't she? Xion no. No. should be dead right now. Yeah, boy. I knew my boy wouldn't betray us. He's the best wave surfer around, but he, yeah. <laughs> Momo's technically better, but he can be cool. There she is. As she blows up the ship. Or, like, crashes right into Xion. There we go. No, you don't do it. Yeah, boy. just it was the the way the spaceship was moving she was still moving it was impossible to pull her in don't make fun of her weight god you know the rules. but i uh, i'm getting very strong castle in the sky uh vibes from this one it's gonna fall apart and there's gonna be something in the middle like the driving force of the next game i'm almost positive I mean, aside from the fact that Albedo is still out there, but we shall see. I made it to a healthy level, too. Yeah. Suddenly, Star Fox.
I also feel like this would totally still kill somebody. Something's wrong. Let's get to the bridge. Oh, now we're entering orbit. By the power of divine intervention, or, co or chaos. What will you do? I mean, I guess chaos is a driving factor for the next game. Figuring out what the heck he is. your pain unto me. That was oddly specific. Unless she's gonna do something about it. Get out of here, Faye. We don't need you. Her eyes are blue. Ocean impact? Imminent. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, we still have the commander guy too that we haven't even seen for a very long time with Pelligri. She ain't dead, guys. We're fine. We'll be all right. Are we okay? Huh? Hey, Miss Vector. Huh? Activate the secondary bow camera. Roger. Yeah. Although her hair should be flying completely straight as far as fast is going. But I think she took on a different form. Cosmos. Potentially. 
Nah, she just lost her mask, but still. go. Boom. Since you walked into my life, Monday morning when first I heard you speak to me. Who the heck are you? I was too shy to let you know. Oh, I think that's her brother. Much too scared to let my feelings show. Or her father. a vortex of temptation and obsession that still remains. That's what continues to draw them in. And Albedo, he's being drawn in just the same. Albedo? You mean the URTV Albedo? He's still alive? He will not die. Not until that time arrives. When I turn to see your face, I remember now that was entertaining. All that remains is for my pesh to link up with the UMN, and my objective will be complete. I want to Do heed my message, Ruby Doe. <laughs> so she must have a virus inside of her that allow them to infiltrate the system and actually like take it over. Jump by Albedo's craft. This is acceptable. Yes, that's fine. The door that leads to Abel's Park. He is the only one who can open it. There's a possibility that he may link with Udu again. That won't happen. He doesn't have that much power. He's only a key. Of course, we must accept the possibility that he can affect space and time anomalies to some extent. But that's what all of you are for. Still. His will shines with such wondrous light. It's a shame to relegate him to such a minor role. Don't you think? Sorry, the music is very loud in comparison to dialogue. I am extremely sorry about that. I have no control over that, by the way. That's just how the game is. Yeah. 
Thanks, Monolithsoft. It's too bad that you don't really exist anymore, but... You, you, you guys put out great games. And sort of thanks to you, Namco. Yep, to be continued. Let's hope for the love of God that I can actually save this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for working. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, that was Xenosaga Episode 1, De Vilsermacht. That was an experience, to be sure. I've spent a very long time trying to play this game, and I feel bad about it because, holy crap, I should have been done a while ago, but I just couldn't find the motivation to do it. And now I have a better system of doing things, and I know what I need to do to make things happen. So it'll be a lot better from now on, unless uh, time being wasted and things being completed way faster than normal. Uh, this should have been done way sooner, but I can't really do anything about it. So from now on, one RPG at a time, and then a bunch of other games that I play on the side that are very short and sweet. Uh, they may be RPGs, but they're like 10 hours or less long, so they're not going to be a big deal compared to these 30-hour to 60-hour games. I'm not going to be doing Xenosaga Episode 2 for a little bit. I'm going to focus on Nier, and then I'll see where that takes me afterwards. But for now, my thoughts on the game, it was super good. Like, I think the one thing that really took me away from it, it's my big negative, is uh, the enemies were very, very strong. Like, they were challenging to the point of being almost broken challenging. Especially, like, final boss stuff. I know there it's a final boss, but now, like, why? Why would you have a boss that can one-shot you? And level level 30 is, like, the end game cap where you're supposed to really fight that boss. So how in the world were you supposed to fight it in the first place? Uh, that That's my question. The other thing is, uh, until I got the Erdkaiser, everything was just suck. It was so freaking hard to get through. Erdkaiser, I just blew through the last area real fast, got everything done, and didn't waste any time at all. And the Erdkaiser is super easy to get, like, surprisingly easy. Yeah, you have to fight every area, almost through every area of the game to get the items for it. But still, it took me 30 minutes to get that. And that is crazy to me. But, whatever. I've... I've done it. The game is done. I love the story. I love the characters in it. I want to see where they take the game. Uh, I want to know why, what, how, where, when, is why. You know, what is Lost Jerusalem? Who is Chaos? Um, are we going to get to see, like, uh, Shion's brother? Uh, is Shion even going to be a major role in the game? Uh, is Cosmos going to be the main character this time around instead of a side main character? But regardless... Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through this with me. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Please, please subscribe if you liked this series. Comment down below if you love this series. Shut up, Siri. And uh, I pray that, you know, I was able to at least shine some light on this game. That's really what my channel is about, to bring back the oldies and have fun with it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below what you thought of these episodes. It really does help me out. And yeah, au revoir, ladies and gentlemen. Au revoir.